now I'll switch the power back on, which is good. Now it has the Ender name come up. And so we're gonna wait for the LCD screen to come back up. Now, the only thing is, is I didn't plug this USB into a computer. So I'm not quite sure as if I have to upload the firmware. I'm gonna assume that they already put that on there. But the thing is, is they give you this flash drive or this, this card. This will go in your computer, it's an adapter. And you get, it looks like, what is this? I got an eight gig card. And this is gonna fit into the, the card slot that's over here. And I'm gonna try to put this in to see what's on the card. Assuming there's models, auto home. Now, here's the thing, I'm gonna hit auto home. This is, should set all my axis, the X, the Y, and the Z to home position. But since I didn't really calibrate, test anything, the Z switches on this side, and I'm scared that this is gonna crash. So what I'm gonna do is have my hand ready when I click this. So it homed in the X, homed in the Y, and now the extruder is actually gonna come down with the X motor, and this is gonna set itself on the Z. Now, I didn't set this, I didn't check it, so I'm just doing a quick check, and I actually hit this trigger, this end stop, and it stopped. So all three axes works, that's a good thing. Now the only thing I didn't check yet is the extruder as far as like temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to heat it up now. So I'm on the main menu, I went to prepare, and then I go down to preheat PLA and click. Now I can hear the cooling fan actually fire up and I can see the temperature readout that this thing's actually heating up. So the 3D printer is heating up just fine, so that looks good. And once it gets closer to print temperature, I'm gonna select print from TF to go to my file. That's on the card. And then I'm gonna select 20 millimeter cube dot G code. And once I select that, the 3D printer has to reach print and temperature. And it looks like it's about 200 degrees Celsius in this case, and the bed's about 60 degrees Celsius. So once it's ready, the 3D printer's gonna auto home, which means X, Y, and Z. And then it's gonna move up so it doesn't scratch the bed. And at this point, I'm gonna watch the nozzle to the bed. I wanna make sure that I have plastic coming out, which I do, and I'm looking very specifically for that first layer. I want it to stick to the bed on all four corners, and make sure it's nice and flat and not peeling up, and also not jamming into the bed and causing damage. At this point, it looks like everything's kinda of coming out nice and smooth and flowing okay, and sticking to the bed properly. And looks like that first layer was stuck really good, and the second layer is coming back and everything looks fine at this point, so I'm pretty satisfied with the first layer. I don't need to stop it. I'm gonna let it print to see what happens. And it looks like it kind of peeled up on one corner, but the object's still there. And so far, I like what I'm seeing. So we're gonna let this finish and see what happens. As the 3D printer is actually printing, you can see how much time is remaining on the LCD screen. And here you can see it's at 98%. And at 100%, of course, it's finished. And here we go. So for the most part, this 3D printer is not too bad. It's not too slow. And when it's finished, everything goes in a home position. And at this point, you can actually grab the print. But for the most part, I'm pretty satisfied with the 3D printer. It prints pretty good. Now, the only thing I hadn't got into yet was calibration and troubleshooting as far as leveling the bid. But for the most part, I don't think it's gonna be difficult. So, I actually am satisfied, pretty happy. I'm looking forward to using this 3D printer some more. So, I do thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. And stay tuned and please follow us for more.